Welcome to Margaret's Place. My name is Don Davidson, and I'm the president and CEO of the St. Joseph's Villa Foundation. This community raised over 13 and a half millions to build this beautiful building that is going to deliver essential services for end-of-life care in our community, and I couldn't be more proud to show you around today. As we look out the window to the front foyer, our many generous sponsors and supporters in the community. Harper's Garden Centre did this beautiful tranquility garden. That's the type of example of community support that we've received, in addition to all the art that you're going to see as you walk through here. So when you enter here, you're greeted with this incredible painting by local artist Robert Ross. This is called the Front Lawn, and that is the front lawn of the Jurovinskys home. And the Jurovinskys have supported healthcare in Hamilton in many, many ways, and also here on the St. Joe's Villa campus. And it's a beautiful story to tell about two beautiful individuals who made this building possible. As we walk through the main foyer, you're greeted with the main desk. And this is the first point of contact for every family that comes in here. Also first point of contact for volunteers. So the person who sits here will be specially trained uh, to deal with these families and understand the emotions they're going through and the challenges. If you're sitting at this desk, you're a very special person. Beyond that, we have the main foyer sitting area. And this is an area where families can just sit. Come in here in the evening, enjoy the space, the high ceilings. And most of all, as you'll see as we walk through the building, Margaret's Place is about what's behind me. It's the beauty of Spring Creek Ravine. This is one of three great rooms that we have in the hospice, starting with the Douglas Fir columns that come from British Columbia. These are structural columns. They hold up the building. The natural stone that you see over the fireplace, the element of fire, and the airiness. You see the light coming down from everywhere. Beautiful garden space, window, and reflective light. When you're in a hospice, it's important to have lots of space. You have 10 residents living here, but you also have 10 families and creating a space for every family is vitally important. So those families can come in. They can grab a beverage, which will be out here on the counter, baked goods, which will be out every single day. They can sit down and put up their feet, click on the fire and watch a movie, and just really be a family in beautiful surroundings. That's what this place is all about. You look at the stained glass piece, that's a nod to our heritage. And the Sisters of St. Joseph, that's the stained glass of St. Joseph, and we're very proud of our heritage, and that will hang very proudly in this space. So over here is, a, I guess you can call this a library or a reading nook, and a place that will fill with books as donors bring them in to us. And here they can sit, they can read, they can contemplate, they can look outside the window, almost looks like a piece of art. And then that leads to the pieces of art that you see on the wall here. This beautiful art you see in this room, you see over the kitchen, you see up here high. This all came from the Laurentian Bank of Canada's private collection. Next, we're going to head to a, a family room that is closed off where you can go in and you can shut the door. Again, as we're creating spaces for families throughout the place, there's a lot of different emotions that families are going through. And some of them want to be in more public settings with other people around them. Others want to be in closed door settings. A beautiful setting like this, a living room. It's a space where they can come in, they can shut the door. There's no TVs in here. It's truly a quiet room when you come in here. And you can sit, you can contemplate, just be. I think that's what it's about. It's creating the space to fit your needs and we've given the space. How you use it uh, will be up to the families. So the West Wing here at uh, Margaret's Place, all the suites are on the side of the forest. So whether you're a resident or a family member, you always have a forest view. An important feature when you come in here is lights are never glaring and in your face. You have the recessed lighting behind the headboard. You have the subdued lighting. Every room has an original piece of art uh, from that Laurentian Bank collection. It also has a pull-out chair. This entire chair can pull out and this will come out to an entire flat bed. That's very important when you have family staying overnight, especially when you're palliative, when you're near those final days, Families will want to stay here, and it's important for us to ensure that they have everything they need when they are here. Uh, the blank wall space you see there will be appointed with family mementos. There will be frames with clips so they can put their own photographs in there or whatever they need to make it their own. The fireplace, it does set the mood. It comes in various different colors that you can change, but it's also a heat source. It's important to know that everyone has different temperature tolerances. So every room has its own thermostat. 
and additional heat coming from the fireplace. They can make it as toasty or as cool as they want. Also a flat screen smart TV. We have Watson technology incorporated into all of these rooms. Watson is it's kind of like a Google Home. So it will do the simple tasks, roll down the blinds, turn on the lights, turn on the TV, things like that. But it's also further complex where you can actually communicate with staff or volunteers. I guess you can say it's like a hotel suite uh, when you come in here. The full shower, the, the, the basin, the toilet and so on. A door being roll away. It's important that when families are here they can feel like they're independent and on their own here. They don't have to go to a public space to bathe if they don't want to. For residents who may need that help, we do have spa rooms and uh, our trained staff will help them uh, in those means. One of the most important things, the bed has wheels on it. you notice the oversized door. You easily glide the bed out and you have this beautiful space for the bed. Every outdoor space also has a glider chair that was generously donated by one of our local organizations. And a lot of palliative nurses have said a lot of movement, especially in those uh, final days, whether it be for residents or even families uh, who are going through emotional turmoil. This is very calming for them. And uh, we have one on every single balcony here. So what does the bed look like when you come out? This is it. And the nice thing about this, it really doesn't matter of the season, whether it's uh, spring, summer, fall, or winter. Just imagine being out here with your loved ones and a winter time being bundled up in a quilt. A lot of families that come through here and individuals, they'll ask me, what is Margaret's Place about? And when you walk out onto this patio area, it's pretty simple. It's this. It's about Spring Creek Ravine. The deer walk by here every morning, every evening. Being at one with nature and end of life is critically important. And the unique aspect of Margaret's Place is that we provide that to you. And we are fortunate enough to have this piece of property. And I think this will go down as the signature element of what Margaret's Place is all about. I don't think there's anything more luxurious than having a beautiful jacuzzi bath, especially here in our spa therapy room. Margaret's Place is equipped with this incredible room with this incredible jacuzzi tub. This tub is on hydraulics, so it raises and it lowers for ease of entry and also ease of bathing for staff when they're helping our residents. We're going to have the music therapy in here, just gorgeous music playing. We're going to have aromatherapy, it smells of lavender or other. And most importantly, we're having lush, thick towels and big towels that you can wrap around you like a bed sheet. This is a luxurious experience and it's about quality of life. In addition to the spa therapy room, we have the shower rooms. And we have two of these in Margaret's Place, one in the West Wing and one in the North Wing. And again, it's quality of life. It's being able to have a shower in a beautiful surroundings. And in here, we'll have that aromatherapy. We'll have that music therapy as you really enjoy a shower experience. And it's one of the few luxuries in life that uh, we can all have. And uh, a, a good shower is, is one of them. You often hear that the kitchen is the heart of the home and that goes the same for Margaret's Place. Here we are in uh, the kitchen. It's an industrial kitchen and in here we have a large refrigerator, freezer, the gas stove, the dishwasher and this beautiful island. This kitchen is volunteer driven and we do not have a cook here at Margaret's Place. Some of our staff do have food handling licenses but this space is going to be occupied by volunteers. Volunteers are critical to the operation of Margaret's Place. They'll be coming in here in the morning. They'll be making those beautiful breads and baked goods that you're going to smell going down the hallways. They'll be making the delicious soups and the chilies that will sit on those countertop tops all day uh, for residents and their families to enjoy. Critically important, and this is a part of fundraising that we really need to fundraise for also, and making sure we have that food on site for those families, uh, making sure we have the volunteers here to prepare it. Uh, it all works into a, a big plan of community support and we need the community to make this happen. So as we enter the north wing of Margaret's Place, a lot of special rooms in here and services. Uh, to my left you have the family suite. This family suite is very important. It's for those families who during the day just want to go in and shut the doors and other private uh, place for them. But also, if the family wants to stay overnight, especially whether they're alone or it's the entire family, 
we will appoint that room with the bedding and so on, and they can stay there for the night, especially when their loved one is nearing uh, that end of their journey. We also have four respite rooms here. It's respite palliative rooms, and we are the first facility in the province to have respite palliative rooms. And this is for families who are caring for their loved one at home, who is palliative, and it gives them relief, and it gives them a few days or a few weeks, where as a caregiver at home, it gives them a break from the mental and the physical strain that that gives on them. The, their loved one will come here, the loved one will then go home when the family member is revitalized and they continue that journey at home. We also have a spa therapy room here. This is another shower. Our west wing has two, this one has one. And both wings have their own nurses station. Again, windows bringing in the natural light, just making sure that our staff are healthy to take care of the residents here. This is the Dundas Lion's Den, another beautiful family space. This one is adorned with wood paneling walls and it really gives it a den, comfortable, warm, den-like feel. And again, this place, you can just sit back, flick on the fire, put on a Netflix movie, and really enjoy a family evening in here or alone, it doesn't matter. Outside, we have another family deck. Out there, we will have patio tables uh, where families can go out, they can have a lunch. Uh, they can just go out and they can listen to nature. We have two stained glass windows in here from the St. Augustine's Parish Women's League and they generously donated those to us and it really gives a spark of colour into the room. And of course a continuation of incredible original artwork as we go through the building. One of the features that really stands out for me personally in Margaret's Place is the light and how it bounces through the windows and here in the west wing through the ceiling you see the skylights going all the way down the hallway and the light bounces down throughout the day depending on where the sun is situated. And I find it amazing how the light just cascades down as it does over these gorgeous cloud-like paintings of Kathy Gibbon. Incredible art, incredible community, another artist who stepped up to provide beautiful surroundings for Margaret's Place. One of the most important walls in all of this building is the Margaret's Place donor wall. All of these leaves cascading down the wall represent a donor, an organization, so generous, so compassionate. Without their support, Margaret's Place would not stand here today. We thank each and every one of them for what they've done and will continue to do as we look to support ongoing programs and services here at Margaret's Place. One of the main spaces here at Margaret's Place is the Great Room. And I don't think anyone would deny that this is certainly a great room in all ways. From the cathedral ceilings, the cedar timber roof that you see here. As you look at this room, it's all about the panorama view of Spring Creek Ravine. So here we have the family table. We have a gorgeous harvest table. You see the walls behind me are adorned with incredible photography. Again, another generous donor, David Dreger, who created all of this photography. All within two kilometers of this site, these photographs were taken. One thing we can't forget is children. We're going to have children coming to Margaret's place because children are part of a family, but we need a place where they can be children. They can come, they can play. We have a gaming console here where they can play games, watch cartoons, we'll have games all over the place, and a place where they can just be children. Critically important, it's a home and a home has every kind of space for every family member. And as we pass the main windows, you see all the seating we have here. We talked about movement earlier on and having chairs that cascade around to give you vantage points for indoors or outdoors is really important. Really, it, all this thought has gone into choosing every single piece that we have here. As we come outside the great room, we come onto the great deck, which overlooks Spring Creek Ravine. And no one can deny this is probably one of the most beautiful hospice views out of any hospice in Ontario. This wide spanning deck can be used by families. So another family space that's being created, an overhang will give them protection on inclement days. Whether it's raining out here or snowing, come out and enjoy the space. You see the beautiful furnishings that we have from Distinctly Patio and Kitchener. We have swivel chairs down here where they can come out with their morning coffee and uh, just enjoy the sunshine. This is a place for families to enjoy and it really doesn't matter what the season is, whether it's winter, spring, summer, fall, October, this is brilliant yellow. 
February, the snow is just settling on all the tree limbs. And then summer, you see it like this in different hues of green. It's an incredibly peaceful and tranquil place. And that's really what Margaret's Place is all about. This hospice will forever stand as a symbol of good in our community. You've journeyed with us this far, and we need you to continue that journey with us. We don't stop here. Our job's not done. We've built Margaret's Place. You have built Margaret's Place. Now we need to ensure those programs, those services, everything that makes Margaret's Place the unique and incredible place that it will be, we can continue to do that. And we will need your support for that. And I ask you for your support. Thank you for joining us on the journey. And we look forward to continuing that journey with you.